Hello, everyone, to the part of Dio. There's someone doing the lava maze. And it's going to be an interesting level. Because it's a maze. Except it's not. It's not a maze. It's, uh. It's actually very straightforward, to be honest. So here's the area. Here's a bunch of gems we can get, a bunch of chests we can break. We can't break the blue one yet until we get a blue fireball. That's fine. That's perfectly reasonable. Let's get rid of this bat, because it's going to be a prick in the fucking thing, I bet. I don't like the bats, as you all know. As you hear anything. Move forward over here, be careful of that shit. And then glide over to that, glide over here. Do not get killed, thank god I have full health. And then get rid of this bat. There's a full health potion to your side if you need it. Go grab it if you need it. I don't need it right now. Fuck that. Get the freaking musical note from that thing. I want this chest over here with the key you still have from the hub. And uh, then just get the musical note and the remains of that chest. And uh, yeah, not blue chest. We'll come back to that later. Uh, destroy the mushroom. Get up there. Kill the fucker in the sorcerer outfit. Small health. You need it. I don't need it. Uh, yeah, just get rid of a whole bunch of assholes and then go down here and get rid of these assholes. You want to get rid of these assholes because when they die, after you get their gems, they give you invincibility all the time. So you want that invincibility for a certain bit. Right now, though, go over here. It's what chapter number one is. You kind of need it right now. And kill these mushrooms, get the musical note up here, and that's two musical notes garden. So far, not very mazy right now, huh? It's not really a big maze we're dealing with right now. And, yeah, that... That's to say a lot about the name of this fucking level. That there is no fucking maze. Like, why did they make the- Why did they call this lava maze? Because it's lava... And... It's not even a fucking maze, like... They seriously couldn't think of any other name for this, by the way, Invincibility. Could they seriously not think of any other name for this level, other than lava maze. Which is very unfitting, considering what we're seeing right now. It's really not that mazy. There's a lot of, like, different paths and such, yes. But it's nothing that can get you lost, which is what a maze is supposed to do. It's just there, and it's just very straightforward, really. And a lot of the areas, you know, they do take you back to the start and such, but... It's like... It's very noticeable. It's not that hard. So, there's that. We've only got one musical note left. I already know where it is. Obviously, and this path over here is why you need chapter number one because you know chapter number one is going to give you that speed pad and the invincibility on the way and you want that shit because all you gotta do is kill those guys with invincibility, go on the pad, run, run all the way through, then go and take a very sharp left into that little cavern there and then make a big jump and then land that bitch. Very hard to do. We'll probably get killed a lot by doing it. Once you're done with that, you go up here. This will take you up to the very top, as far as I know. It's pretty much the very top. But it's check number two as well. So you want that number two checkpoint to get on and continue on. You want to make sure not to die here, or else you fuck up and you lose that privilege of being able to continue on from here. But hey, as long as you get up here, all you have to do then is just go down and kill these guys. You could have gone and killed these guys on the way up, but I just found it to be better this way. By the way, I died there. Ain't that grand. Hey, look. Full health potion. Might as well do this little trick here where you just, as soon as you land, you shoot and it goes straight to the very lowest that the shot can go. I really wish that the developers add in a way so you don't have to do this to fucking aim. Because this is stupid, alright? This is actually a really stupid tactic to make me aim. I'm being fucking honest here. I really don't like how you're supposed to aim by jumping and then shooting. To go up or to shoot down. It's fucking stupid. It really is fucking stupid. Alright, now go back over here to this health potion. Then glide backwards to the left and you'll find this little area over here. Take this, drop down, you will appear here, jump over to there, before the camera fucks you over, get the key, get the gems, and leave. And that's a neat little secret area to be honest. Something. Be careful with the camera, by the way, it can fuck you over right there immediately. It's a- it's a bastard. Now, go back all the way to the chap- to a chapter number two, because you're gonna need that checkpoint number two to, um, continue on for this area, because you're done with the majority of this area. The majority of this area is completely done. So you want to go all the way back to number two, get that checkpoint, and then just go all the way back. If you died, by the way, you'll have to go back and go through all the bullshit again. But if you went up here, 
to number two first, and then, you know, do all the shit, then you're fine. Now get the blue fireball, and glide all the way back. You want to break those blue chests, so you're done with that little area. If you miss this, do not worry. We'll come back for that later. Just keep going over here, and shoot this bastard before you run out. Like I did. And there you go. Now go all the way back, and go and destroy that blue chest, you missed it. And don't worry, you can glide all the way over to that. We'll be fine. Right. Go back, destroy the blue chest, get the shit. There you go. Let's go back to chapter number two, in which we're going to, uh, basically do a branching path. In which the left path will lead to the exit, and the right path will lead you to more gems and the musical note, which we need. So, you want to go right, but you want the speed pad, because the speed pad's important. You want to make sure not to get fucked over, so make sure to kill everybody. Invincibility's here, nice. It's random what these guys drop though, so you won't get invincibility all the time, just note that. Now, you want the speed pad because you want to get over there. You can't make a normal jump over there, you have to be fast. So, make sure to kill all the enemies so they're not on the way, and then make the run for it. Once you make the run for it, you'll be on the right path to the final musical note of the Lava Maze, as well as the final musical note of this hub. So, make sure to do a really big jump over here, you can easily fuck that one up. And then make sure to die, kill that guy, get the gems, and then get all the way to chapter number 3. Go ahead and take it if you want, because you will fuck this up on the first go, due to the fact that the jumping here is iffy as fuck. But, um, all you have to do is get up here. Hit that, go for all the way back down, and then go all the way back up and get the musical note. But yeah, it's iffy as fuck, because you can easily fuck this up. Like that. Because fuck you, Edge. Fuck you! Now, once I got that done, yeah, you'll go all the way back here to the very bottom. Don't worry about it, though. But what we should worry about is going all the way back. There are two ways you can go back. You can go back by doing this, which takes you to the fucking start again. Except you're just on the fucking other side now. Do not do this. Because then you'll have to go for all this shit again. And I know you don't. Or you can do a way in which it does work. You can glide back this way, but it's kind of difficult. Yep, going backwards on the run path pad. Because that platform is slightly higher than that one you just jumped off of from the fucking speeder. So... You want to make sure to jump specifically onto where I jumped through to make a landing there. Now for this final area. You got invincibility, that's good. Run through this shit. They place this shit in dickish ways to kill you. Be careful. Break these before you run out of your power. Then kill that bat. Then get all the fucking gems. And then you'll have to make a run for it all the way over to that spot over there and get your number four. By the way, I lost this as soon as I got hit. Look at that. The fucking timing there. So I have to do some tricky shit to trick this shit, and then I made it to chip number four. And full health potion at the end. Another blue fireball, which is useless by the way. There's no auto blue fireball needs for this. Just keep running. Key's there. Now we have to go back, because we got a key now, and we need to use it. See? I have to go back and get that one chest I missed at the bottom. Where the two bats are, which are gonna fucking kill me because I know they are. So I'm gonna unlock this shit. I want those gems. Give me the you fucking bats! Fuck it. Fuck it. Give me the gems. I'm leaving now. There we go. I got all the gems. We're done. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm done. Fuck them. Okay, so that was Lava Maze. And I wasn't a fan of it. Anyway, we only got one level left in the hub, and that is the shelter. So, let's go all the way to the musical note door and deal with that. As soon as I get rid of this bat and then get free from the bullshit and have to kill this fu For fuck's sake! Okay, here we are. Play the music. Here we go. How lovely. Anyway, more gems, another blue chest, more fucking bats, more mushrooms, and to number four, 
all the way past this big lava jump. Now, how do you make this jump? A run pad. Where's a run pad? Which our number two is. How do you get there again? By going all the way around and back. Why? Because you can't get back normally. So first of all, get the blue fireball and break the blue chest. Then, you're going to have to go all the way back by going to where the lava maze entrance is and then going all the way back over to number two and getting that shit done. Yes, it's annoying. Yes, it sucks. But you have to do it because you can't go back normally. So once you're over here, make a run. Now, as soon as you jump, get that blue fireball. Do not miss it. Keep running. Keep running all the way. Make the big jump. Do not fuck this up. Get the fucking chapter number four. Break that blue chest. Kill that bat. Get, unlock that chest. That's your final one for this hub. And then you'll have all the gems. And you'll be done with the hub. Except we're not done with the hub just yet because we still have the shelter. So next time on Dio, we'll be doing the shelter. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.